Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss my favorite new feature found here inside of the new version of Adobe Photoshop CC. This new feature is all about editing 360 degree panoramic images here inside of Photoshop. For example, I've taken this photograph you see here of the Adobe corporate headquarters in San Jose with a Ricoh Theta V camera. I can then bring it into Photoshop and enter into this 3D workspace. And I can use all of the painting tools here on the image in this 3D workspace to correct the image. Wow, this is a great new feature. Let me demonstrate how this works. Let's go back to my original Theta image right here. I can now go up here to my 3D menu right here and I'm going to go right down here to Spherical Panorama and over to New Panorama Layer from Selected Layer, right there. Now I'm going to go right into this image and demonstrate something that's really difficult to correct in the 2D workspace. And that's right down here, that's our logo. And using the Move tool, I can then scroll down here and see the logo. And I can see that the tripod is right over the logo, so I need to replace this logo. Check this out. I'm going to go over to my Properties menu right over here. The default FOV, or Field of View, is at 8. This default is approximately the same default view that you'll see inside of, for example, Facebook. So that's a great default. But in this case, I'm going to tap right here and set this to a value of 1, so I have a wider angle lens view of my image, so I have more work area. Okay, let's get started. I want to go in first with my clone stamp tool right over here. I'm going to pick up this area right over here with my Option or my Alt key, and then I can start to paint. Okay, that looks great. Now I want to do a little bit more touch-up, but this time I want to use my healing brush right here. Selecting the healing brush, I can bring that up in size, and I can do a little bit of retouching with the healing brush. You can use all of the painting tools to adjust this image. Now let's go back over to our Move tool here, and let's move this around so you can clearly see that I've made some adjustments directly on the 3D workspace. Fantastic. Now I want to replace my logo within this image, and a great way to do that is to use a feature called Libraries over here. Libraries let me store all of my commonly used graphics in one simple location. So all I have to do is drag them into my Libraries, and then drag them back out again, scale them up in size, put them into position, and then hit the Enter key. And then finally, I'm going to adjust the blend mode over here to multiply, then over to my layer menu and down to merge down. If I want to apply a graphic to my 3D space, I must merge it into the 3D space. Then once again, we can go in and rotate this around and we can see our new logo that's been placed into this 3D world. That's incredible. Those are just a few of the great things you can do here within this 3D workspace. The final thing I want to demonstrate is how to export this. Before you export this 360 degree experience to share it on the web, you must align the horizon of your image with the exact center line of your workspace. As you can see here, I have my horizon right here and the distance to the top and the distance to the bottom should be equal in relationship to your horizon. If you've got that just right, you'll be assured that your 360 degree experience will have a really nice smooth flow and not wobble as the user spins it around. Now, from the 3D menu, I'm going to go down to Spherical Panorama one more time and over to Export Panorama right here. I can then name this, in this case, Final Panorama. Just like that, save it off, 
Let's now switch over to Facebook, right over here for example, where I can import my 360 degree project right here into Facebook and then I can adjust and move it around as I saw it in Photoshop. And of course right down here is my really nice finished logo placed into position and I've removed the tripod from the image. Fantastic! You've just seen one of my favorite new features here inside of Adobe Photoshop CC. Give it a try!